Super Uniform has been following my channel and leaving comments on all my videos for as long as I can remember. So when he says, Dabloon, you gotta play this week's Odyssey, and then I see why, because it's his name right here, he created it, we have to give it a go. But not only that, it's an extreme Odyssey. So I had the question, extreme means that you can only use the tower once. So I thought to myself, can we beat the extreme Odyssey on hard mode with the towers that they recommend? So we're not gonna add any more, we're not gonna take any out, we're gonna play it exactly as it was intended. Now, I don't know if it's intended or if Ninja Kiwi just hits like a randomizer button and that's what you get, but I have tried something similar to this in the past because I'm too lazy to make my own team or look ahead and it's been pretty disastrous. So today, can we do it? I think we can. Now, when I do extreme modes, I like to choose five of each tower because then I can just repeat the strategy over and over and over. Well, it looks like we have five supers and seven beast handlers. Okay, but we get to keep Etienne no matter what. So Etienne's going to be our first choice and we can just place him in like a pretty broad spot since he can just go the entire track. And we have a free dart monkey, but we only have four of them. So we do need to see what we're working with because I don't even know what these maps are. This one is hard double HP Moab. So we got to make sure we have Moab popping power. Easy Apocalypse. Apocalypse can get wild real quick. Half cash grow skip. Medium reverse on Mesa and hard on sanctuary but things have been lowered so we got some stuff to work with here and we have some difficulties ahead of us but i think we can kind of just handle it with this so i'm gonna take etienne and then try to save up for a super monkey i don't know if that's possible but with good ability timing and the fact that we have a mana shield now there is one rule that i have about these odysseys i will not continue if my hearts are less than the 50 unless it's the last map because I have to go into the last map with 50 because you never know what's going to happen. You could just get destroyed. So that's what we're going to try to attempt here. And in my years of role playing as Odysseus, I have learned that if you use the least amount of towers early on, you have more for the later ones. So can we get through this one with just an Etienne and this guy? I don't know because I don't know if Etienne can pop purples. You think I would know these kinds of things, but we need, I think it's like round 25 for those purples. So far, so good. This is the hardest round yet and it doesn't even matter. We still have our spikes. So we're easily going to be able to place down a super. And I think a good spot would just be like right here in the front. So we get an easy attack and then kind of clean up over here. I guess actually just right here. I want him to be like the main focus cleanup and stuff. Well, actually, I don't know. I can't decide, but we're going to leave him like this. And for those of you doing without monkey knowledge, hats off to you, sir, because that is purely madness. I love having like him upgrade quicker and everything being cheaper. You guys are crazy. I did realize too, though, that I do have seven beast handlers. I think that's a very odd number. So I think we might go with a Pau Kai. Well, we can't, right? We can only go with the giant condor. So it'd be better to go for an orca then. But he's all the way back here in the back. I really don't want to deal with that. The Tyrannosaurus Rex could be very helpful. And we will have mass camo when this guy gets to level eight. So what do we go with here? Him, I can't even decide. I'm thinking Sun Avatar will be the best for like round 63, 78, things like that. But then again, like anti bloon or dark champion is really great. And we're going to have a lot of money considering we're not going to buy anything. We don't have lead popping. Which one of these pops lead? He can't pop lead, can he? So we're going to have to go with the Tyrannosaurus. That's goofy. All right. So we're just going to put him here and then try to get this one over here in just in time to like try to get rid of this thing. Put him on strong. Okay. Are we going to get this faster, faster? Can't believe I forgot about that. What a goofball. All right, so let's just put him here for now so we can just take care of all those things. That's pretty crazy. And I decided I'm definitely going to go for the middle path. I think it'd be so cool if we could afford anti-tech. I don't think so. With only 80 rounds, we're not gonna have enough. So would it be better? I, I could argue that tech tear is better than Sun Avatar because having that ability is indispensable for crazy rounds like 78 or something. Now we do have a 200% speed double HP Moab coming. But I think this is more than enough, honestly. And then if we could afford Velociraptor, and I haven't bought anything else because I'm like afraid of the purples, but can we take this out? Let's get this one too. Dude, that thing's strong. I think super strong, but ceramics are not. They're the same. So that's fine. That is going to be kind of tough though. But I haven't even bought like laser blast or plasma blast. Like I said, just worry about purples, but I think these two can take it out. This dinosaur is really good now that he has camo. So far, this has been really easy. This guy's pretty much sold it all. And uh, with this one, it might be a little bit tougher, but to be honest, I don't know. Are we gonna be okay? Yeah, we're fine. And then we could just do this one and those are all gone on their own. And then we just get focused on here. Easy. Oh, so that's what happens when you underestimate your towers. Now you got to spend more money, but we're not buying anything else this entire round. So it doesn't matter if we continue and get more money. I think we're going to have to get rid of these ones first because those are really strong. And then maybe just use this guy anyway. It's those fortifies that come out of kind of crazy. And then we have this one to stall them. We have some really good towers here, but then I was thinking 
Maybe the reason why we had seven beast handlers is so you can actually fully upgrade one of them or at least get it to a fifth tier. But we probably won't focus on that. We got through our first one with only two towers, which is pretty awesome. Let's get rid of all this stuff. I love that ability. I wonder if this thing will eat it up on its own. Oh, not even. That's crazy. Let's stomp it too. Let's just give this thing the whole hoorah here just so we don't get overwhelmed. And then I hope our UCAB will be back because this thing is strong. Double HP mobs are no joke, but regular ones should be okay. Come on, UCAV. Come on, UCAV. This might be bad. This might be bad. Maybe not though. No, it's bad. It's bad. Okay, we got it. <laughs> we got it. There we go. First one down. Okay, so this one's going to start right away. Hopefully enough for an Etienne, which we do. I'll place him. Oh, no, this is the best spot, obviously. Yeah, duh, right here. But we don't have our spikes now. A little concerning. And now that we only have four maps left, I can use the towers that have four. So we can use a flame. We can use a dart monkey. But what are we working with here? Just the popolypse and the ability rate. So just don't use things with abilities. I think this is a good tower to start with just because Apocalypse drives me insane. I'm not going to lie. It's such a random game mode and you'll end up just getting destroyed. And you're like, what the heck just happened? And then you retry it and it's super easy. Because to my knowledge, let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure like every Apocalypse instance is different, right? Like it's always going to be random. These purples are overwhelming and I get ru ruined by them every single time. Don't lose my mana shield. Don't lose my mana shield. Will we? Will we? Will we? Yes. Can't, can't have that. No mana shields lost here. See, this is what I'm saying. Now it's a completely different round. This makes no sense. I think I just like ended that round, right? But now my guys are already here and they're going to get wrecked early. Don't understand it myself, but we'll roll with it. I feel like you could just cheese Apocalypse by doing that. Am I wrong? You could just sit there and just not worry about anything. Just keep restarting. I don't know if this is the best spot for him, but we're going to go with this one. And we're not going to go with anti-tech terror this time. We're going to try to get to the top path, Sun Avatar. Reason being is because our ability cooldown rate is so high, there's no point in going for tech terror. Just use it like once. And at some attempt to speed run this thing, because we'll be here all day if unless we put our towers like close to the front like this. Hang on, why do I still have 46 lives? Oh no, Apocalypse. So I'd have to restart the whole thing. That's not happening. I guess we're gonna have to go in with four lives left, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Gosh, purple balloons are the worst. And I went with the two worst towers for him. That's pretty funny, actually. This guy's a straight destroyer and always great to go with, but I am worried about purples, but doesn't he have some kind of monkey knowledge that allows him to pop purples? If not, all we have is Etsy in for them. Well, there's Island 2. You think you're still popping balloons and then it just ends. I never understand Apocalypse. It's the worst thing in the world. Well, no, half cash is. And that's what we're about to fight here, which is purely awful. I don't know if we can go with this one. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to use him and then we're going to use him. But I don't know what I would want to use him for. Maybe just like a basic sharpshooter. We'll keep him here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Yeah, this will be fine. This will be fine. And the only thing with this one, besides it being half cash, is removable cost is 200%. But we don't have any water towers, so I really don't need to get rid of it. All right, so thinking ahead to Mesa, we're going to have two tracks there. So I don't know if I'm going to need like two wizards or two super, so I don't want to use them, but I need something for leads. So how about the Dorkosaurus and see if he can help us out for a little bit. Can we get him right here, though? Come on, Dork. I don't know why I felt like calling him that Dorkosaurus, because it looks Atosaurus. I guess. I don't know. I guess I'm just rude. I kind of wanted to save these guys too because I think a Paukai would be great for that last one. But do we have enough for it? Yeah, because we'll get the first one. Yeah, we could use it. I'm, will, I'm really worried about Mesa. But Sanctuary is going to be awful too. But I think I'm going to save both helicopters for Mesa. We can use like a downdraft and Moab shove early on and then sell that for something like an Apache and that'll carry us through. For the Moab, should I go with the dinosaur first? I'm a little nervous about this. I think I am. I'm going to go with the Velociraptor just because he narfs everything. The other guy breaks him down. This guy narfs him. And then I'll grab this guy just for like a last second cleanup. Maybe like maybe we'll get lucky and he'll pull a balloon back. But then I'd also like Sharpshooter because Sharpshooter is like kind of a guarantee for a Moab. At least in most cases because its crits are just critically awesome. Honestly, this should be a good team. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, I didn't even need the set five. Four, five, six of these things? That's insane. That's pretty cool, though. This guy literally just narfs everything under a rainbow. One shots at all. That's some crazy damage. So the game plan is to buy a Tyrannosaurus Rex, save up enough money to sell it for a sharpshooter, crossbow master, and I think we're good. Fast forward. So I'm a couple bucks short from my goal. We're like four or 5,000 short, so I cannot do it. So I'm just going to stomp this one, use this ability, and then clean up with this one. Oh my goodness, that was so easy. Half cash is awful, but that wasn't bad. 
Now this one, Etienne has returned home and it's on reverse. Oh, no, 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 not even, not even. And Rigo rates 200%, so 70, okay, cool. 76 is not here, that's great. But 75 is gonna be brutal. So two plans, two plans. One is to put our Etienne out, clearly. But where are we gonna put our super? I'm thinking like right here. So Etienne can just be in the front as just kind of like, ugh, should he be a cleanup though? No, he needs to be up front for those purples in the beginning. This could be a terrible spot, but I'm gonna give it a go. So like right there, I feel like it covers a lot on both sides. And then can he hang on his own or do I need to, oh no, 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 this one we're gonna use a dart monkey. But what's weird about it is, okay, so my entire plan going into this was Supreme Avocado showed me a strategy on chimps. I made a video of it years ago. Some people still actually use it. And basically you put the dart monkey right here, you put him on close or somewhere like right here and you put his juggernaut. And what happens is it just goes ballistic and nothing can get through for such a cheap price. Now I wanted to do that here, but I'm a little worried because of obvious reasons, it's not the same. So should I put it there or here? This was my plan, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I mean, before it had to be precise, so this one probably has to be precise. Oh, it doesn't bounce off the wall? It's literally not bouncing off the wall. Oh, what a joke. So it comes back off the top of the screen, but then it's like, you know, too late, too short kind of thing. I just need $2,500 for my super, and I think that's what we'll do. And then maybe we can use a dart monkey later, like get a juggernaut. I don't think it's gonna be the worst thing to have an ultra juggernaut, but it is right now. Like it's the worst thing ever. All right, we're losing too many lives here. We got to think of a better tower here. You know, honestly, we could just go with the other one and sell it. I just really didn't want to sell things. But this is going to be a lot better choice than the other one for sure. And we still... <laughs> he misses the first one. What a goofball. He's in a bad spot. Don't get me wrong. He's like no projection areas down there. But still better than the other guy. I know 15 is going to give us trouble. So let's use this guy right away. He's so good. He's so good. Can we get all those pinks though? Or is it going to run away before that? No, we're good. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say we can't beat this, as is. We need something else here. Maybe this guy will help out. Cause we're just losing lives that we don't need to lose. I knew this map would be difficult, but I didn't think it would be this early on and not knowing what towers use. Mind you, we have a lot of towers left for that last map, like 47 <laughs> beast handlers. No, no, we lost the purple. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe we want to use a cool Paukai on that last map and we need it. So I don't want to use my beasts if I don't have to. I am going to use a super though. We don't have lead popping. Oh my goodness. Do I Alk buff now then? I'm going to try this out here. We're going to live a little dangerously. This might be a really bad idea, but it might be really cool. Okay, it was a really bad idea. This thing doesn't bounce for diddly. Oh my goodness. We didn't lose our mod. <laughs> we didn't lose any lives though. So I guess that's cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Can we do this again with more of them this time? Dude, this is so bad. This is so ugly. Oh, no. This is the plan. I have enough for it. And this guy's so good. Okay. So he's got to do a little bit of reversals and a little bit of exchanges with this money and stuff. And I think we'll be okay. And luckily, he can't pop purples, but this guy can, which helps us out a lot. Now, we don't have any camo detection yet. And I'm hoping we don't need to. Will this, will this be enough? You're kidding me, $540, okay. Let's just let this guy do it and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll tell you what though, I am up on my seat for this one. I'm gonna get rid of this dart monkey. We're just wasting money with that guy and then I need to put you right here. It's not the best spot, not even close, but I think with the right amount of love, we can get this one. So I think plasma blast and the fire should take this guy out. Dude, really? Is it like more health or something? No, you're telling me a plasma monk? That's wicked, that's wicked, but we'll take it. We'll take it for now. So this is getting a little overwhelming. So I'm gonna actually sell and buy this guy for my son avatar. And now we're rolling. Now we're rolling in the deep. And I think I'm gonna try that little plan I wanted to try with my jugger ultra jugs and see if it works. I don't know though, it's probably a bad idea. What I love about this though, is that we are in the front. So if anything crazy happens, we do have the ability to just go like, oh no, there's too much. And then we hit this button and it'll clean it up in the back. I probably just wasted that. I'm gonna need it on 57 with those two Moabs, but we'll see what happens. Now what's really kind of bothering me is that usually the Sun Avatar can shred this stuff in no time. And it's taking a while to pop the Moabs, but yet there's no decrease on anything. So am I missing something here? And I find it kind of funny just how bad our range is with the Ultra Juggernaut. Like he's barely going to get used, maybe on 63, but it'll be too late by the time it gets in his range. Oh no, these Fortifieds are actually a lot for us. No joke. Okay. So I'm thinking we should go with one of these guys then, a Prince of Darkness. It won't be the best, but it'll still help out. That was a close call there on 74. And I'm looking at this and I think the Juggernaut's actually doing a lot better than I thought because this guy's getting way more attacks off and this guy's pretty much caught up to him. But then look at this one because it's at the front. So I'm trying to decide who is the best to go for because 
because I don't think we're gonna be able to make it as it is. Or should we just give it a go? Because I think we might be able to do it. Like we'll go like this and then, oh, we're handling the first one on our own. I'm not bad. Let's just use this one. It should be okay then. That's it. Okay, last one, Sanctuary. This one's gonna be the hardest, but it's gonna be, well, no, it's on easy, right? One through 80 on hard, but the balloon speed and mob speed is a little bit less. Now I want Etienne, but I don't know if that's the best spot for him because I want my super right here is where I think we should put him. And so we'll just put this here and then can these fit on there? They can, so that'll be great. And honestly, I don't know why I saved my spike factory because I'm not gonna use it. So I'll put him here so he's out of the way of my super and then we'll put another one here. Good, golden. What? <laughs> you see that you like phase through the screen for a second? All right, honestly, I'm starting to think it might be better just to go with the helicopter and say kind of forget about it to the other guy because we can turn this into a one track track if we just place him here. Yeah, he's gonna be spinning around like crazy and stuff. Well, how about here then? That's a better spot. And then if we get him quad darts and don't really worry about that other one right now, the pursuit, I think we should be okay. And maybe I just will leave him on pursuit because it's making him go kind of quicker. It's speeding up the rounds a little bit. And then luckily we're gonna have lead without having to buy another tower. We can just use our razor rotors here. We'll get faster darts, fast. Well, actually, I don't know if we'll have enough for razor rotors. We'll wait for razor rotors before we go crazy. Now, I don't know if this is a good play, but I am gonna get rubber to gold here and hope that I can make some more money before round 40 because round 40 is gonna be awful. But here's what I've done here. I've gotten this guy on follow mouse. And I think, I think, I think using this, we will be just fine because we can hold it back. And then he's gonna rubber to gold and make us some money here. Will this work? Oh, that was so easy. Oh my goodness. Now we can just lock him in place. And then I think if we play this right, well, hang on, can we get support Chinook and make some money pretty early on? Let's do that. And I've said it a million times. I really wish this guy had some kind of money calculator on him because I feel like we should not have this much money. I think he's been making us bank, to be honest. But now that we have the support Chinooki, I think we're gonna make some good money here. We'll blow everything back. Except for it takes so long for that thing. And will it bring our lives back? Will I have my initial 50 that I wanted? Let's see if that's true and no. No, you do not get more lives. You do get more money though. So for this one, I think I'm gonna go with the Paukai and a giant condor. We're gonna put everything back to the middle right here just so everything can be like blown away and going crazy. I don't know if this will be enough though. Oh my gosh, it will because he can handle the Moab. Can't he? Can't he blow it all back so we can just have this like indefinite little party here of just blowbacks and craziness? Oh yeah, this is a clean team. Two Moabs though, can we take them? Yes, they blow them all back. And I'm gonna get another one too. I think this is so cool. I'm gonna get another one and then another one because I would like to go for Paukai. I don't know if we're gonna have enough money, but I think with this guy making money and our other guy, we should be okay. How are we gonna do against the BFB? We have three giant condors, almost four. I think we can take them all out because the giant condors are insane. So would it be more beneficial in my power to have another Chinook making us money? Because we already have this one, $9,000. So if we doubled that, we'd be good to go. We could sell them all, get a Paukai, game over, I think. Because an Apache helicopter kind of makes me feel a little nervous just because it just jets around so much. It's kind of stressful. Oh my God, 63 is nothing with this team here. Nothing. Oh, dude, I'm selling this. We're getting another Chinook. We're gonna make some money here. Put this one a little farther back in case he gets out of the way. Like seriously, what's going on? Why are you losing to leads? What are you doing to a little bit of leads? None of them can pop lead? Oh, just the Razor Rotors could? That's actually really silly. That's pretty funny though, to be honest. So now we have two Chinooks and four giant Condors. Oh my goodness. I think we should start merging them too, to be honest. I don't know if that's the right play, but I'm gonna do it. So now he's max. We just need $32,000. So we could technically just sell both of them and only need a few grand and we're good to go. Dude, he is a destroyer. He is cool. I just can't believe that nobody can pop lead. This is so embarrassing <laughs> to be honest. I have to use an ability for lead balloons. Like I knew this guy was good, but I didn't think this would be our strategy. I thought for sure I would need like a super monkey or like even a, a middle path carpet. Of sp we don't have carpet of spikes. What was this spike even for? I should have used them on that cracked map so I could put it in the back for lead. That's silly. Oh my God, I just used my ability. I didn't mean to. I meant to hit this ability. That's funny. So I think I'm gonna sell one of these because we don't need them both. And we're gonna grab our Paukai. And now things should be just pretty stupid, like pretty broken. I'm gonna grab another one though and then merge him so I can get like this guy a little bit stronger. Does it work up on a step up basis or does it have to be maxed? Like is adding another 12 to him gonna make him stronger? Look at 75 be absolutely no stress for us. And usually it's pretty hard map, but now we're hundred out of 132. So see if I would have had those other, oh, can we do this? Or is it gonna just start a big old regrow farm? Dude, why are they so good? Why is everything so good right now? 
I'm curious, can I like sell this guy and then do I even need this guy? I'm gonna sell it and regret it later, but I think he can solo. Paukai's a good tower. Let's see, this is 78, fat ceramic rush, giant. Dude, dude, let's just leave it like this. This is silly. Here's our final round of this Odyssey with the Paukai on his own really, because I don't think, <laughs> I don't think our poor guy's doing any much here, but is he gonna take him? Oh my goodness, that tower is amazing. But this is why we do this. Well, three hours. It didn't take me no three hours. It's an hour and 13 minutes. Well, I guess because I sped up time, right? But we're going to get free 400 money, 137 for that last map anyway, plus the other ones. We got a cool Insta Monkey, 50 trophies. That's what I do it for is those trophies. Thank you, Super Uniform. And let me know if you guys were able to beat this below. And if you enjoyed that, then I know you'll like this video where we take on one of the craziest sniper challenges that I've ever seen in Bloons CD6.